everybody, Rich Boy Jay here back again, and this is my UCS Millennium Falcon here at Legoland Star Wars Days in California. I know the last video you saw, this thing was in pieces, it was a mess, but I was able to get it back together for the convention, and it's looking pretty good. One thing you guys haven't seen is the hyperdrive lit up. Um, it's a little hard to see out here in the sunlight, but it does light up. And I'm extremely happy with the way this thing looks. So I'm just going to take you guys through some of the mocks here. This is the little piece of Scarif that we bought. Just a little sneak peek at what we're going to be doing in the future. And of course, an excellent X-Wing mock. This is actually the model that's in our Scarif build. This isn't our mock, but love this build. It's also nice to see it in gray. Got some Millennium Falcon scenes going on. Look at this. Have a cantina. These are always fun to look at. No, I found it. Oh, you found it. Oh, okay. awesome. in there now. Oh, that's cool. But yeah. And this is a stormtrooper helmet built with stormtrooper minifigs. Bags of Lego. I have a bag. This is all the Legos I own. I just started last year. All right. You're doing pretty good. You got all got the some dimensions. bumper cars. Yeah, that was when the uh, there was the 99 cent store. Yeah, I happened to find it when I was in Phoenix. I wasn't part of the the, the the thread that was saying it was all out. I was just in Phoenix for work, and I love the 99 cent store, so I go there. You just and found them. Some You're nice like, little vignettes. Yeah, I know when I saw them. Look at that. The binary down. suns. And then went back every other day. That is for beautiful. Until they didn't have any more. Yep. And uh, actually, that's what we're using. This is our bag of trading minifigs, so... Oh, there you go. Like, you got a brickhead stormtrooper on a like, do-back. We yeah. had, like, a lot of fussy little clowns. Docking Bay like 94. Lego pieces that came with it. Yeah, that's it. I got, like, the sensing one, too, because I like the colors in it, but I'm like, I, yeah, it's not my humor. Like, this is Universal Studios, and I just want to skip that one. Yeah, you're like, whatever. No, yeah, we've been trading all these other... Got some Rogue One vignettes. This is the Yay Duo that I did. That one was one of my favorites. Got some nice mini builds. And look at this Falcon. This thing has a better interior than the Lego set. Some very cool U-Wing builds. And this one was also fantastic. It's a motorized trench run. It's not running right now, but... I was really happy with the way that looked. Got a fleet of uh, starfighters. And now we're gonna head to the other side. I'll get back to the Hothmock. Hey Miro, are you able to run this for me for a second? Yeah, I got I got it up on um, which way? There. Look at that! Ah, this makes me smile. Don't forget the little restaurant. Can't forget the restaurant. <laughs> That's actually a really nice build. 
I love the use of the sand green masonry bricks in there. Yeah, there's a lot of detail work in the restroom, man. Oh, yeah. So. I was going to do a little storage room in the back of that. Like, oh, I yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got all this space back here. You could put, like, promotional material for other movies that were out at that time. Yes, like, they would have put it away. this morning. And, uh, that would be yeah. <laughs> Instead, I did the posters of the uh, scenes for the movie. Mm -hmm. like, Got a chess set. Got some cube dudes. The first order. We had to double up on the chain here because one will give a little Jedi Temple. There's Gen Stormtrooper doll. We got Acto. Got some more vignettes. This one's actually from the Lego movie, I just noticed. I absolutely love this build. It's like both versions of the Y-Wing, the Clone Wars, and the original trilogy version, all in one mock. That's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful design. Also have a Scarif. I, look at this. I absolutely love what he did here with the exploding A-Wing. And the fire design. We're gonna have to do something like that for our scarab mock. <laughs> we got Star Wars Land. Can't wait to check that out. We have a very colorful Imperial land um, shuttle. We have a very cool Cloud City build. We got Wilro Hood. Now that makes me happy. It's a little detail, I swear. Then the Falcon on the landing platform. I didn't even see this before. We got a Thai Reaper. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Got a Millennium Falcon Carousel. Now let's get to the Hothmok. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin with this, but <laughs> I just try to get you guys some good shots of it. <laughs> so for one, this is absolutely the <laughs> biggest mock I've ever seen in person. And it's by the one and only Brick Plumber. The man who actually inspired me to start making mocks. That's a story for another day, though. I love just the texture in the snow with the cheese slopes and the curved slopes. It, it just works together really well. And of course we got Echo Vase back here. Oh, yeah. 
his custom UCS Falcon. Leia giving her speech. Nothing unusual there. Got the bubble turret in the back. Shield generators. And then finally, coming through the time portal, we have the First Order. Man, that's beautiful. All right, guys, that's going to finish up this video. We have some beautiful mocks here at Star Wars Days. And I'm glad I was able to get the Falcon finished up. Thanks for watching, guys.